demonstration here is to show you guys how the air caps and the pressure is going to change. So I'll set this air cap to 10 psi I'm going to set that on. 10 psi. So that's for the HVLP air cap. Next up we'll put the T20 conventional cap on. T2. Without even touching that air pressure, we've already gained about 5 psi. Again, I'm not going to touch that air pressure, but I'm putting the low volume, low pressure cap on. T10. Same thing, I didn't even touch that air pressure, yet we've doubled from the start. We're up to 20 psi. So, what reads at 20, at, sorry, 10 psi with a HVLP cap reads at about 12 to 13 with the conventional and then with the low volume, low pressure, that's right up to 20 psi. So that should show you guys why you would you'd be better off with the LVLP gun with the lower air pressure if you have a lower air pressure supply. So the main thing I'm really noticing from the HVLP, the conventional to the low, low volume, low pressure, the main thing you notice is the width of the spray fan. So if we go right from the edge of the overspray to the edge of the overspray, you're looking at about 11 or 12 centimeters for that one. Uh, the higher pressure, it's going to actually narrow that fan in with the higher pressure. So you'd probably be saying you're looking at about 11 Next up, you've got your conventional. So, so yeah, this is uh, definitely more narrow than the other one. Again, the higher pressure narrows that fan in again. You're sort of around the nine centimeters. And the low volume, low pressure, you, you're sort of coming well around the nine centimeters there. And higher pressure, you're sort of looking at about eight or something like that. So, another look at that there.